Hi, this is Gail. Two things drive me crazy about my camper van. One is the shower arrangements, which we're going to talk about in another, another video. The other is washing clothes. So I bought a best choice washing machine. I'm going to videotape this whole process from start to finish. So we're going to learn it step by step as we go through the process and then I'm going to weigh the clothes to see how much they dry because one of the thing about the videos I've seen a lot of people talking about the clothes and how dry the spin dryer gets them but I've never actually seen a weight comparison so I'm going to do that for you. So let's get started unpacking this washing machine from Best Choice. I ordered this from Amazon and we're just going to record this together step by step from the moment I break the seals which is now on through the entire process. The box is about, the box is 27 and a half inches high, 23 wide, and 15 across or deep. Both. Are you trying to figure out what's going on? Am I making you nervous? I got my, my buddy right over here. Now I've got to change camera angles so you can see this. And from the top down. Here we are. Looks like I'm going to have to get some help from this point. Yay, hello, help. Hello. There we are. Here There's we are. my washing machine. This has got a washing machine on one side and a spin dryer on the other. Give me just a minute, see if we can figure this out. Did it come with instructions? We'll check the tub. Nothing in here. Yep. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew there'd be the instructions somewhere. Read this booklet thoroughly before using and save it for future reference. Twin tub washing machine instruction manual. Introduction, technology parameter and specifications, structure and parts, washing instructions. Give me a minute to read it. I'll be right back. I think I got this. Okay, so it has two water inlet ho holes. This one and this one. The tubes would fit on just like so. This would fit to the faucet. But we're not going to use these because most of the time we're going to be in a van camper. And I'm not going to have inlet hoses. And we're going to take this into the bathroom. We're going to use the shower head. Um, if this was a outdoor setting, of course, we would use a hose or a bucket to add the water. We're inside though, let's take this on into the shower and give it a whirl. Literally. I just realized I forgot to show the back of the washing machine. That's where the cord is wrapped around for safekeeping. Had I looked at this earlier, I would have seen that this electric cord is so short for my purposes that I'm going to need to get an extension cord. You guys are going to ask before I put these clothes in it how deep it is. Um, it's good and big. I'm going to attach the Amazon link down below so you can see the super specs. But here is the depth of the tub and the whip. Now, everyone has told me not to use a lot of detergent for this kind of washing machine. I usually use these drops when I go out on vacation. I've done a video with them before. I really like them. These are kind of like Tide Pods, but please don't eat them. These come as a subscription. Um, you can get them from Amazon, which is always what I like to do. One drop will do a load. Now instructions with the drop say to put it, just drop it in and start the water and then add the clothes. So I'm going to be adding the water through my shower head. And you're not supposed to get the water over 140 degrees. And since we are in a bathroom, I'm just going to go, that's the drain hose. I'm just going to let it drain on out. And 
Am I making funny noises? I'm good. Looks like somebody had to come in and check me out. It's okay. Now the drops are a low subject detergent. That's important because it works differently than your household machine. Wait, now I'm going to go ahead and put in the clothes. What I've got going in, I've got four t-shirts. Uh, this is pretty much what I would be doing in a campground is t-shirts and socks. I'm going to go ahead and slip these in. Yeah, this has got a lot more space than I thought. I've got room for several more t-shirts. Okay, so I've got four t-shirts in there. I've let and to give you an idea on space, these are extra, extra large t-shirts and I still have only nine inches and it's covering the t-shirts really well. Yeah, no problem there. So I could easily get twice that many t-shirts in with no problem. But this is my first time out in this, so I don't want to get too carried away. Let's go ahead and just close the lid there. Go ahead and get started. I usually run these on about eight minutes, so I'm just going to turn this over to the nine and go ahead and get it started. There we go. It alternates between a clockwise and counterclockwise rotation to agitate the clothes. We'll just come back in here shortly and check on this machine. Well, the washing has completed its time. And now we're just going to put it on drain. And there it goes. Let me move the shower head so you can see it. And drain it is. Look at the color in the water. Good heavens. This is about drained. Let's go ahead and start adding the water. This is a low power washer that I'm going to use on solar later. So everything has to be done manually. Now we just added the water so we can start the rinse. Now let's get ready to spin it. Using some water out. There we go. I'm going to use this travel scale. Got it. And weigh it. This is the dark blue t-shirt. Try to get a before and after weight. Okay, so that is 2.4 pounds straight out of the washing machine. Let's put it over here in the spin dryer. I do have one more t-shirt in there. I'm just going to spin the two together to get an idea of time. Slip it in there, put that down, fold the top, right. and let's, let's set it on, let's go all the way. And there she goes. Wow, look at well, Very little vibration. Yeah, not much at all. And not very, not very noisy either. Mm -hmm. I'm that's, really impressed with that's that. That's very impressive. The instruction said you might have to run a couple of cycles on the spin, so we'll take a look after one and see, see what it looks like. Okay. We'll come back when this is done. Okay, the timer is off. Let's see how the spin did. Both of them are 1.8. Okay, so both of the t-shirts that were in there together weigh 1.8. What about if we just take this one off? Yeah, it's not enough to it wait. Was. Um, yeah, I wasn't prepared for this. As you can see, this is double zero. The clothes have to be at least a pound for the luggage scale to pick up. And this has dried to the point where it, it alone is less than a pound. I can tell you this thing feels a lot drier. I bet on a hot day it would dry in no, fully dry in no time, but I would call this a win. Let me get back to finishing my load. I'll talk to you in just a few minutes.
Here we go. Here's my four t-shirts hanging up. I just now took them out and let me show you. I think you can probably tell with this gray shirt a little bit easier than you can the blue. Just how well it dried. The light areas that you see in this t-shirt feel completely dry to the touch. There are some darker areas that are wet and I think it showed up pretty well on this. Coming out of the little spin dryer, I'm really impressed. The clothes smell clean. It has this nice, clean smelling fragrance that you want instead of heavy perfumes, which is what I would have gotten had the detergent not fully rinsed out. So I'm very pleased with that. I feel like it rinsed. I feel like the clothes are clean. The only thing is the this is the first time, of course, that we used it, so though the washing machine does have a little bit of a plastic smell. I think that that's going to go away as we use it a couple of times. But that didn't get on my clothes, it's just kind of in the air. I think I'm going to consider this a win. So thank you guys for watching. How do you clean your laundry when you're out in your camper van or on vacation? Leave me a comment down below. And again, thanks for watching. Go out and live bodaciously. Just grab life and have fun. I'll see you all out about and online. Bye. And that made somebody decide he was hungry.